We're now going to look at how to find the area of compound ships. Okay, a compound ship is where you've got two ships that have been put together. So here we've got uh, a rectangle and another rectangle that have been put together to give you this L ship. Also, if you have a look at this compound ship, uh, this compound ship you can clearly see there's a rectangle here and a red angle triangle or triangle that's been attached to the side of it, okay? And we're gonna look at how to find the area of compound shapes. Uh, the easiest way to find the area of a compound shape is to split it into two parts. So if I had this, I'd probably wanna split this into that. That means that you've got the rectangle and you have got the triangle, okay? Um, then what you need to do is work out any missing sides. So for the rectangle, I can clearly see that the length of the rectangle is 19. The width of the rectangle is 6, so that's going to be quite easy to work out the area of that rectangle. The triangle, on the other hand, I know the base of the triangle is 6, but I don't know the height of the triangle, but I can work it out. The whole uh, length of the rectangle is 19, so the height of this compound shape is 19. And this distance here is 12, so this distance here will have to be 7, because 7 plus 12 will have to be the 19. Okay. So we've now got all the measurements we need. Let's find the area of the compound shape. So, uh, to find the area of the triangle, remember area of a triangle. If you, have, if you can't remember how to do that, watch the video area of a triangle. To find the area of a triangle, the formula is half base times height. So we're going to do half the base times the height. Half the base, half of 6 is 3, times the height 7. 3 times 7 is 21 centimetres squared. So the area of this triangle is 21 centimetres squared. We now want to find the area of the rectangle. The rectangle was 19 high and 6 across. I'm going to use the grid method to work that one out, okay? So, set up your grid. It's going to be 19 times 6. So, split up your 19, 10 and 9, and your times by 6. 6 times 10 is 60. 6 times 9 is 54. Then we're going to add them two together, so 60 plus 54. When we add those together, we get 4 and 100, or 11, so it's 114. So the area of the uh, rectangle is 114 centimetres squared. The area of the triangle is 21 centimetres squared. So to find the area of this whole compound shape, we're going to do 114 plus the 21. So you add together this area and add together this area, and I'll give you the area of the whole compound shape. 4 plus 1 is 5, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 1. So the area of this whole compound shape is 135 centimetres squared. Make sure you include your units because it's area centimetres squared.